All right, the map is island. We are a green dot. And what I'm doing right now is I'm looking for a spot that has um, a lot of dots that are not green around it. Um, and we've uh, right here, right there. OK, so my plan there was to find a spot that didn't have too many green dots around it. Unfortunately, a teammate also opted for this spot. I didn't pick it based on the fact that it had a lot of free land around it. I was actually trying to find a spot that had not too many green dots, green bot dots. That didn't have too much land around it because the spots have a lot of free, a lot of free open land, really attract a lot of players, and you don't want to spawn top players. But we do, but see, see how all the bots around us have—they're uh, all not green. That's good for us. And if this guy hadn't randomly spawned here, it would've been great for us. We could just truce with this guy up here. Unfortunately, the, my teammates uh, opted to appear here. I'm gonna save us some troops though. But that way I can like sit back, build some troops, and the boss the bots fighting each other doesn't matter because there's no bots of my own color to box us in. And I'll attack a few of these boys here, just trying to block us off here. We don't love that. And look for weak ones. Okay, there we go. And who's looking squishy enough? Not many of you to be honest. There we go, some of that. Bit of you. Bit of you. Nah. A little too close to these two players, but at least we're not getting boxed off by our own bots, am I right? Can't see the... I I wish the developer would do something to make it easier to see the numbers of troops. It's really annoying. Especially in the early game against these bots. It's so important, but you can't just... You just can't see their numbers of troops. We truce here. I'm in a good spot. My teammate hadn't picked that spot the last second, but... Is what it is. Good ones here. We're still doing okay. But you... Bopelgear is hitting us kind of hard. Um, Get some of you. Get some of this bot too. Uh oh, this question this guy's gonna take. Wait, he donated all his troops. He donated all his troops across the board. <laughs> what was that? He could attack me from inside. Lucky, lucky, lucky. I have no idea why he didn't just attack us from inside or be patient. Most people, when they get inside you like that, they just attack from inside. I guess, oh, I guess he's like trying to. Do oh, wait, this guy's. Do we attack this guy? Maybe he's trying to help the team win. He's like taking the L for the team. Or maybe he was hoping that I wasn't paying attention to him. Maybe he's just being a team player financing this guy. I should. I should probably attack this guy and slow him down, but I'm gonna focus on bots first. Because, uh, that's just free land that I don't have to, like, lose a ton of troops for, right? Got Waffle up here. Alright, I think, um, honestly, this guy only has 100,000 troops. I get a lot of land from them on the cheap compared to having to go to war with this guy. It's actually a better choice for us. It's actually a better choice for us. Yeah, look at all that on the- yeah, they were super overextended. They had, like, no troops left. Get this buy here. This buy here. This buy here. That was huge for us. Look at that unclaimed bit of land. Sloppy. That was huge. Huge, 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 huge. A great start. A great start in spite of having a, a player next to me. Yeah, I think this, the trick is just to kind of like ignore the player dots and just find a spot where all the bots around you are not your color if you can. That's the goal. Oh, hello. There's a bot I could be taking right there. That's huge. Beautiful. It is kind of tough, though. This guy is bigger than us on the board, and I've got a, a big guy above us. I think he has more opportunities to, opportunities to expand than I do. Um, we can get you guys to attack. I think... Uh, actually, no, he doesn't. He's He has to fight through these guys. I mean... We're about even, actually. I've got more troops than they do. I could attack them. It might be, Honestly, that might be my winning bet. Push my advantage on them while I have it. There we go, and this, these guys are getting on it, too. This works out great for us. Waffle's going to be hesitant to attack us, because we are bigger than them. Hopefully, we truced. Actually, yeah, we probably should attack this guy over there a little bit sooner, honestly. Get these bots a little bit there. That adds up. I can actually now boat my way around into this other stuff here. Although, it's just, it's, yeah, it's not worth boating through it, to be honest. Luckily, this red player is also attacking, too. Oh, nice. These guys are both attacking. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. A lot of times, people will see somebody with the crown on their head, and they will um, be like, yeah, let's gang up on them. And they won't pay attention to when the crown switches players. They'll just, like, get laser focusing on that one guy. Not that this guy can attack anybody else, but this guy could be um, focusing on us. He should be, like, trying to pivot to attacking us at this point. All right, let's uh, get a boat over here. Some teeny boats out. Little bits and bobs, wherever we can get them, right? There we go. There are little feelers in to whatever we can. There we go. Now we're looking good. Yellow's looking healthy. Uh, I think we take you out for the land before you build up. Appreciate you. 
you were very instrumental to our success, but unfortunately, my logical choice now is to take you out. Sorry, you've got a fair bit of land and not too many troops defending it, so it's just a re it's just it's just good business. It's just good business. I'll attack you next as well. Get a boat over to this. Take you out as well, my friend, because your next logical choice. There we go. Just get some more land for ourselves here. As long as you're not defending. There we go. Should probably take that VUCA guy down there. There we go. So, oh, this guy gave up because he knows it's over. Yep, they they that'll happen sometimes. They'll just they'll just leave because they know they're not gonna win. At this point, there's no stopping us. Every single player on the board would have to work together to take us out. And uh, most matches, you're not gonna see that coordination. I'd say maybe 10% of your matches. I'm just picking numbers out, out of my hat, to be honest. There's the full send. Maybe 10% of your matches, you'll see an, an entire team coordinate to take out the leaderboard crown. Most of the time, there's going to be... Half of them will be noobs afraid to do it, and the coordination won't be there. This team, they could have stopped us from winning, but they didn't work together. And it happens a lot. Which is both good to you if you're in the lead, bad to you if you're not. Smash that like button if you like Territorial, IO, and you want to see more of it on this channel. Let's go!